Everybody, how are you? How are you? You see that sign right over there? Well, this is where I am right now. The Fellowhood Athletic Club. There's a little bit of the meet and greet just to start to kick off the 10th anniversary of the Hall of Fame. And I'm just going to give you a quick preview here. We have a lot of people hanging out. Some of them haven't seen each other in many, many years. We're all getting ready for tomorrow. We have in the morning the ribbon cutting in the high school. Then later on at night, the famous award dinner. All right, folks, I just want you to see what we do this. Let's go now to the high school. Okay, well, this is going to be our second phase of the Hall of Fame event. We just had a little casual informal meeting over at the Fellow on AC. And now, that was Friday night, and this is Saturday morning. And we're going to actually get involved now with the high school. And we're going to see the famous Hall of Fame hallways that have been dedicated. And this is something that is going to be most festive. I believe we're going to have a ribbon cutting. Maybe we'll have a little, uh, some speeches by a few people. So let's go inside and get ready for part two of the Fell on Hall of Fame Day. Inside the Cafeteria D right now, and everybody's showing up getting ready for our ceremony. We got the mayor, we got some other friends, a lot of alumni are here, a lot of athletes are here. And we're gonna be going into the hall pretty soon. We're gonna have a couple of speeches pretty soon. We got some festive guys here. All right, gentlemen, this is, this is a video now. You have to look at me and say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good hello. morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody everyone. psyched about today? Just a great place to be on Hall of Fame weekend. Bring back some memories. Bring back some memories, some thoughts about here. Thoughts about here? Uh, here, here, not the cafeteria, but just- Many happy memories. Many happy memories, very good. And thank for you guys sure. for doing what you were doing, of course. Yes, I remember my brother's. I should just say hi to somebody over here. That's ridiculous. And they're all slowly coming in. We're all having a festive time. Uh, just some panoramic kind of views here. We're getting more and more people showing up. Pretty soon the official ceremony will happen. So stay tuned, as they say. It's insane. I'm gonna have to get you on camera. Paul, give me a little wave. Hey, wave. You psyched about being here? Yes. Well, it's always good to see you. It always is. And look who we have over here. Hi, good morning. Didn't I just see you like recently? I think I did. You look great though. All right, folks, as people are slowly coming in here, the crowd is building, and pretty soon we're going to have our ceremony. I know I keep on saying that, but we, we are. And I'll just be playing around here, doing my thing. You see uh, all these wonderful people that are here? we got a little wave over here, fantastic. Good morning. Wait, that's a weekend. By the way, when I said it to you, you're on. Tell me what you tell me. That's the unedited version. I like the unedited version. It's right. Actually, it's always better that way. Always good to see you in the voice and the and the, and the words of Fallon High School. Football. They live across their their short house they cross from recycling place. All right, here we are in the morning for the uh, Hall of Fame Continental Breakfast, just before we cut a ribbon. And I think, sir, you have a lot to do with what's going on. Introduce yourself. Tell everybody who you are. Um, Dave Laub, class of 79, um, president of the Hall of Fame Committee. Um, I'm also an inductee. I went in in 2007. Um, Let me guess, you probably play football, huh? I played football, I wrestled, and I threw the shot in distance. Really? And, uh, so you've been working on this for quite a long time to get this together for today. I saw a major change in the hall. Well, we, um, after last year, we had decided that we wanted to have a celebration, bring people back, and do a lot of work to make the hall a lot better than it was. And we did do, I believe, a great job. We did a fantastic job. When the people go in and look at it, especially those who have seen it already, 
before we changed it around, they're going to go, wow. That's now, like, how, how are you going to find some of those things? Some of them are really on the walls that are like, look like lost items almost. Well, people were donating it through the time? They, some, some people have allowed us to borrow them. Okay. Uh, some people have actually given them to us. Uh, we have a new display case that was, the money was donated by the 59 football team, class of 60. Oh, cool. And we have a bunch of memorabilia in there. We're asking for more, and we're going to try to change it up for the seasons so that there's always something new and interesting in there for people to see. Well, pretty much that is a permanent display in the, yes. in the high school, right? That's there as long as the high school's going to be up. All right, let me ask you this. Walking down the hall the way it is now, how does that make you feel? It makes me proud to be a fair long cover. Thanks so much for what you're doing. You're making a lot of people feel the same way. And I'm going to stay around for the ceremony. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to uh, the 10th Annual Fairland High School Hall of Fame. You know, as you know, that uh, today is a little bit different because we're not inducting anyone. What we're doing this year is we're celebrating the about approximately 125 athletes that were have been inducted into this Hall of Fame along with teams and coaches. So I'd just like to uh, start out and have everyone here who is either inducted personally or on a team or as a coach or a special, will you all please just stand up so we can. Uh, got a big round of applause. For This all started out uh, probably about 11 years ago. A group of us got together, uh, led by John Roddy Hughes, and we uh, always talked about having the Hall of Fame and, and actually put together a committee and worked really hard in the beginning to get it. Uh, there, was, uh, there was some opposition from different places, and uh, you know the committee was persistent. And, and I really want to thank everyone who was on that initial uh, committee because uh, they were persistent and the first year was a big success and from there we just continued to grow and now it's a, it's an annual event that I know that so many people in Fairland look forward to and that's a direct result of our Hall of Fame committee. So I'd like to introduce our Hall of Fame committee, Dave Laub, our president. <laughs> Myself, John Kajler, I'm the vice president. Uh, the person who makes this all work. We all know who she is. Anyone who's ever been inducted or had to deal with the Hall of Fame at all, she's our go-to person and just works tirelessly. Like she'll take tomorrow off and then for 364 days, Kathy Schofield just works. Kathy, please stand up. Smithland. 
behind us along with all of our past inductees and other members of the town. The support has just been wonderful. I'm um, hoping that when each and every one of you walks down that hall, uh, after seeing it when you've been inducted, you'll look at it and go, wow, because that's how we feel. Um, it's a tribute to all of you who came before all of us that brought history and actually you didn't bring it, you started. And you know, we get an opportunity to go back and say thank you. And this is our way of saying thank you for all the hard work that you did and put in while you were here. Um, a lot of people haven't been recognized until we have found them. And to me, it's just an opportunity to give the younger people and the people to come an opportunity to see what Fairlawn was, is, and always will be about. I uh, hope you enjoy uh, your day today. I hope you enjoy the evening. God knows I'm going to because I appreciate the fact that each and every one of you are here for this. So thank you very much. Thanks, Dave. And uh, I want to thank the committee. You know, when you walk down the hall and you see what's happened in 10 years, especially this year, with the uh, display case, which uh, I know that the class of 1959 football team donated the money for us to, to put this beautiful display case. So will you guys stand up that are here? <laughs> but, you know, a lot of hard work from the committee. When you go, you know, when you look at that hall 10 years ago, there were just bare walls. You're gonna walk down and see all the memorabilia and all the plaques of all the teams and coaches and players that have been inducted into this hall. And just to remind everyone, next year we're going to start inducting people again. There is a process. If you go to Fairlawn High School's website, and you can click on to the Hall of Fame, and you can nominate someone to uh, be inducted into the Hall of Fame. So you can go through that. OK, uh, we also have uh, some video. But now we, can, we don't have to show the video here. It's actually right in the hall. We have a, uh, a flat screen on the wall. So people will be able to see who all the inductees are. So when you get over there, make sure that you look at that. So we're going to see you all tonight at 7 o'clock at the Knights of Columbus. We're looking forward to a great evening. So where's Kathy? Why don't you stand up, Kathy, and lead us to the hall. Well, everyone go follow. We'll see you tonight. Thank you. Go to the hall, Wayne. Go to the hall. <laughs> <laughs> I hope all you guys have hall passes. <laughs> Speed it up. It looks like we're walking like this. <laughs> it's our honor. Yay! Welcome to the new Hall of Fame. Yes. Thank you. Oh, 
That was the part of the script. I, got, I should have got a shot of you like that. <laughs> you can see in that picture you already have one. Yeah. Good job, sir. Me too. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, you two are right. <laughs> All right, what's happening now is after we just cut the ribbon, we're having some of our Hall of Fame members and directors and everyone just walk down there looking at this new change for the first time, actually. And I'll see if I can get a chance to maybe chat with somebody in front here. And I want to get the memorabilia, so let me sneak over here if I can. Hey, cool. Okay. Well, I'm going to come back at another day to get a clear shot, but I want everyone just to check out Corvus for this, okay? Pretty neat, huh? I'll see you at 6. Sue. Sue. While they're watching the video that was put together, which is a fantastic video taken right from the yearbooks and stuff, we got all these guys staring at it. And we hear what's over here. Now, you may recognize his voice. Say hello, because we're going to recognize your voice. Hello. How do you feel about being here? Oh, it's wonderful. Isn't it a great honor? Having you on there is a great honor, too. Do you miss it? No, I, I, I've been the announcer since 1997. And you're writing an article. Tell people the name of the article. It's called The Great Iron. It appears in Fairlong Community News and on MaxPreps.com. Well, you're a fantastic part, and he deserves this. And yes, he was cute looking back then. But now you're still cool looking now, too. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I was just told this is the 71 cross country team, Hall of Fame inductee, the whole team, I guess, deservingly so. And this is the coach for that. Fantastic. Do you have a picture on the wall? Uh, just here. This, this is one? That's fantastic. All right, as everybody is uh, enjoying this wonderful new hall, I have a special guest coming on here right now. <laughs> Bruce Sankowski. Bruce, how are you? I'm good. It's just First of all, your thoughts about being here today? I'm excited. I've been looking forward to this. It's been nine years since I've been to Fairlawn. And, uh, I Only have nine years? That seems like it should be a little bit more, but that's, I can't believe with that. The last time you were here, nine years ago. Nine years ago. Okay. When they first started the Fairlawn High School Athletic Hall of Fame. So. And with something special behind you, not many people I know ever made the cover of Sports Illustrated, and I just want our audience to see that. How did it feel having that happen? Uh, I was surprised, excited when I found out about it. I was walking across campus, and one of my professors walked by. He said, Ohio hey, Bruce, State? At Ohio State. Uh, you know, you got your picture on the cover of Sports Illustrated. And I said, oh, okay. I you didn't know that was going to happen? I did not know. I thought it was a joke, to be honest with you. Really? And I ended up being going to my classroom, and I saw five copies of it that some <laughs> friends had bought and already placed where I sit in the class. So. But it was great. Which did you like playing more for, Ohio State or Fairlawn High there. School? Be careful with your answer. Which, which one did you like to play more for? Oh, yeah. Better memories, Fairlawn High School? Fairlawn High School. Good answer. Fairlawn High School. Mem memories that I'll never forget. Well, great memories. You gave us a lot of great memories to have also. Thank you so much for being here. Great shot, by the way. Did you actually catch that ball? Yes, I did. But it wasn't a touchdown. It wasn't it was it? a touchdown. It was just a catch. Do you remember the play? But I did have goal? a touchdown. I remember the exact play. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you so much. You made Fail One very proud. I'll see you later on this evening. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Bruce. Thank you. It's a great interview, interview with uh, Bruce. And we're just showing us some more of the items here. Some people went through their closets. Some people actually had this in the basement boxes in the attic. We got some great paraphernalia here. Everybody's looking at a few things. You get a chance to chat. I just opened up with a special picture. Tell me about that. Who's on that wall? Uh, my dad's there. He was part of the class of 1957 wrestling team, known as probably the best wrestling team Fairland ever had. So how come you didn't get into wrestling? I wrestled one year. I played baseball in high school. Did you practice with your dad? Did he practice on you yes. certain moves? Yes. <laughs> yes. Thanks for doing what you're doing for the town and everywhere else. Thank, Thank you very much, Wayne. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, folks, as we're looking at some of our special people on the wall, not everybody's an athlete with that. A lot to do with just making all of this work here in town. And speaking of somebody who makes it all work here in town, Mayor, Mr. Mayor, how are you, sir? I'm great, Wayne. How are you doing? Your thoughts about today? Uh, it's just an honor to be part of this Hall of Fame. Uh, you know, I've been part of it since the beginning, and um, 
you know, one of the originals. I got to uh, present it to the administration 10 years ago and to see what's happened. It's a great uh, tribute to our committee, uh, our president, Dave Lau, John Roddy Hughes, who was the one person who really drove us to do this, and of course, Kathy Schofield, who holds everything together here. You know, I'm honored. We, we have a lot of great athletes in the hall from Fairlawn High School, but we also have some special, some people who really did great things in Fairlawn for sports and recreation, and one of them is behind me. That's Monty Weed, and he's the guy who really started the recreation department here in Fairlawn, and just done a great job over the years. I played a couple of rounds of golf with Monty and Carmen, by the way, oh, yeah? Martino, and it was like some great people back then. But I understand when this first got started, it wasn't as easy as you thought to maybe get it going, huh? Well, you know, we had to determination get, there. We had to get people to buy into it, and uh, so our first event, the first annual we had over 200 people at it and we uh -huh. inducted people like Bruce Jankowski and UB Brown and my legendary coach Frank Devins and it, yeah. it was a great evening and uh, it's just continued and it just continues to grow and uh, you know I want to encourage people if you know someone who's a great athlete at Fairland High School go to the high school website click on the Hall of Fame and nominate that person and it will come before the committee. Fantastic sir as I always tip of my hat to you and everyone that's involved here today I have a feeling I think I'll be seeing you this evening as well. I'll see you this Thank you very much, Mr. Thanks Mayor. Thanks so much. Thank you. We're looking at some incredible things here. And one of the big reasons why they're here is because of this guy right over here. I think, yourself. honestly, I have to Tell everybody your name first. I'm Walter Pavinsky. And quite honestly, this collection I owe to my mother because she was the one who was studiously kept everything. We not only have the original programs from every game, our original playbook. And by the way, this is what he's talking about. Here's some of the original programs. And you're telling me this is the, this is a playbook from back then? Open that up. Look at this. Something that you'll never see. How, did you memorize all these plays? Yes, yes, yes. All of them? Every one of them. What position did you play? Left end on offense and left end on defense. That's fantastic. The old days of two-way going two you went, ways. You went offense and defense, right? Yeah, offense and defense. That's a big uh, In every game, I don't think I sat out a minute. It was a wonderful, wonderful time in life. You'd be quite interested in the handbook. The handbook. Tell me about the handbook. Now tell me about this. It's, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity to make a comparison of lifestyle and values okay. between 1960 and today. Fantastic. Things we were allowed to do and not allowed to do. And, uh, this is a great collection. Who do we thank again for this? I'm sorry? We thank your family for saving these old... Oh, my mother saved it all. Bless her. You know, I have my old football jersey up front. I, I did see that, yes. And my... Uh, so what, some of this stuff up in the attic that you... What did you just, you know, brought it down, saved it all. So, uh... Well, let me ask you this. How do you feel being here right now with all this around us? It's been fantastic. You know, you don't feel old. No, never. In fact, I'd like to put it this way. Yesterday is not that far away. Very good. Okay. You should write that down somewhere. And memories are a bunch of moments as we all progress through life. And what Fairlawn gave me the opportunity to do that old saying, life gives you opportunities every day, and it also gives you, in one of those opportunity, opportunities, a chance to outrun a lesser version of yourself. Okay, and this is what this is high school, my team, the time I grew up, has proved invaluable in establishing my character, my success in business, and standing here today. Tip of my hat to you, sir. I'm sorry? Tip of my hat to you, the family, and everybody that's here today. Let me get Kathy in this. Get, grab her. All right, Kathy, come here. Don't give her a chill, an opportunity. Kathy, you're not giving Come on. Please. This gentleman just wants to call you over so you can say something to us. No, I, I, as I said, yes. this has been a wonderful opportunity. Yesterday's not that far away. Okay, and we all seem like, for the moment, we're back to where we were. And this young lady, it's actually my older sister, <laughs> uh, was very instrumental. You realize you just told the world that. That's you? okay. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I dyed my hair silver just to look distinguished these days. Uh, you always did. Uh, has done a phenomenal job putting this together and really rallying and getting the whole 
competitiveness of the old team back into the 2015. We were looking for donations and things like that, and it just got the adrenaline going, and I just hope that we could do more in the years to come. What you guys did, all of you in the committee, and especially you two guys, fantastic. Yeah. I can already see a couple of tears on some faces. The memories are strong, and now we're going to share it with people in the high school forever. Okay. Thank you. And I'll Good see years. you. And I thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. And these are some of the posters he was just talking about. I mean, aren't these amazing? I think you post for some of these. Yes, I'm not quite sure. All right, we're going to keep on walking around. Oh, All right, folks, that about wraps up what I'm going to be doing here today. We chatted with a few people. And what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be signing off. I'm going to go to yeah. No, I didn't say hi to you yet on camera. I can't have you. I, I have to say hi to you. Tell everybody your name. My name's Karen Van Alden Coles. And your responsibility was like tenfold, but specifically it was for what? I was on the committee due to my father was Jack Van Alden, who was the, um, he was on the first, he was the captain of the first football team. How's this making you feel seeing it like the way it is right now? Walking down the hall, how does it make you feel? Uh, proud nice to well. be a cutter, actually. Proud to be a cutter, great. Proud to be a cutter, and uh, proud to, uh, proud to be here. my wow. father's uh, legacy. Legacy. I think it's fantastic. It's people like you and others that make this all possible. I'll see you tonight. Thank you very much. All right, folks, like I said, we're going to get together later on this evening. We'll be walking down the hall here. We've got a chance to speak to some of the folks that are involved. But this is a brand new thing. And just so you know, also, in the hall, there's a special video that comprises some action shots and I think a photograph of everybody that's dug in here. This is a very special display case. This is all new. We'll be here for a long time. Right. So this is end of part two. Part three starts tonight and I'll see you then. So stay with me as Inside Fairlawn does continue.